guys i always say good morning but that's because i start these vlogs or videos in the morning um i'm all prepared for training this is me hold on let me put the thing down so you can see like my whole little outfit for the day just a cute little pantsuit nothing too crazy I'm so scared, y'all. I'm just like nervous, but I'm on time. I was supposed to be leaving here at six. It's six on the dot, but I was like, I want to do a little intro and just say I'm off to my first day of training. I'm so nervous, but I know that God is with me and he will get me through this and everything is going to be okay. So yeah, let's go to training. <sighs> y'all, let's have a chat. <laughs> So, oh y'all, today was a day. Um, I, I just got out the shower and got home from my first day of flight attendant training. I, I can't even speak. I'm speechless, honestly. It was just a lot, y'all. I feel like the first half of the day, was child's play like I was tired because I had to get up at like 4 30 in the morning like this is just what I have to do to make sure I got my neck tack covered hair and compliance everything ready to go like I just got to make sure I stay on it because I just don't want to slip up and then ruin my opportunity but you know the first part of the day was really kind of like um, a trick, I'll say, because I felt like I was sleepy, but like it was just it was, everything was all fine and dandy and jokes and laughs and congratulations is if that's even a word. And then I feel like that second half of the day really got me. Like when I got to like hour 10 there, I was like, please, y'all, <laughs> I just want to go home. <laughs> I've learned and I heard enough. I know that's so bad to say, but um, it was just a lot of like information. It kind of started to hit me, like I said, when like crazy thing is, look, they was like, get all y'all stuff because y'all probably ain't coming back, you know, after the last little meeting we had. So I'm thinking, okay, we probably gonna go down here and do a closing. I'm finna leave. This was probably like 4.30. So I was like, yeah, it'd probably be like 30 more minutes. Just a little, all right, y'all, this is the first day, bye. Uh, no, no, they definitely kept us for another two hours for more information. And I was like, that was when I really just was like, okay. And they also like in that last two hours, we really kind of got like the rundown of what the next six weeks will entail. So it really started to get like overwhelming to just read and like hear everything you're going to learn every single day and all the evaluations and, and ditch day this day and pictures that day. Um, I'm, I'm gonna definitely have to, y'all, this is gonna be chopped up and screwed because I know I'm just talking too much and I'm also cussing a little. So if it's chopped up, just know. But um, whew, that's all I can really say, y'all. It was just a lot. It was cool though. Like it, was, it, it hit me that I'm like in the company. I'm in my dream company that I wanted to work for. I didn't apply for no other airline. Uh, this is the only airline I would work for if I was gonna do this. So it kind of felt like, okay, I'm a part of this. And we got so much stuff, so much merch. I got jackets, notebooks, pens, bags. I got my, what is it called? My Sky Pro today. I got an iPad, but you gotta get an iPad back. But my Sky Pro, I got that. Um, what else? We got goodies. We, we just got a lot of stuff. Uh, what are them things called? Yetis. We got a lot of little stuff today, you know? It was a it was a good first day, but it was definitely long to say the least. It was a long day, and they're just keep reiterating every day is gonna be long. You know, we were like, I feel like this is the thing. I knew, you know, flight attendant flight attendant training is six days a week, but when you see it on paper, like when you see the schedule, <laughs> it really is just like, oh my god, like, uh, here we go. But I'm excited. I really am. Overall, I'm excited. I got stuff I need to do. So this is really a quick first day overview. Overall, I know this was kind of an all over the place update and it's only day one. But you know, overall, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be there. It's definitely got overwhelming. You know, it was overwhelming. But it was also like, I can do this. I can make it. It's too many of us here. 
you know, and this can't be that impossible. I know it's something I can do. It's going to be a lot of work, a lot of sleepless nights. I really need to go to bed right now. It is 9.25. Um, I am in class 03. Yeah, I'm excited, but it was just also a lot of information today, y'all. It was so much information, so much walking around that whole big facility. It was just a lot. I was like, ooh, child. I was yawning all day. I'm going to definitely be, I got to go buy a Keurig. <laughs> so I can just be down in espresso so I can make sure I'm awake and present. Even if I'm jittery. I'd rather be up than jittery than like yawning. Because like I'm telling you, them last few hours, I was just like, all right. You know, like I've just never been, like personally, I've never been to an orientation that lasted, you know, 10 hours or all day like from sun up to sundown i've never been to no orientation like that where they just load you up and then to know that you have another like damn near part two of your orientation tomorrow that's going to be all day it's like new but i know that it's like you know it's to prepare you for when you have those long days you know on the line so i know this was kind of all over the place y'all because my brain is literally kind of like just processing like what the next six weeks is really about to be about. Um, tomorrow's my birthday <laughs> and I don't even care. I'm just like, who cares about a birthday? I got too much going on. I feel like tomorrow gonna feel like such a regular day. It was so diverse in there. One thing about this company, they really know how to keep it diverse. Like it was so much different colors and sizes and shapes and ages and genders. It was just a lot of inclusivity and just diversity. I really liked that. That was my favorite part <laughs> of the day. But uh, yeah, this was a lot. That's all I can really say right now. So yeah, pray for me, y'all. But I got this. I'm gonna get through it. Uh, my class number is 413. And I just thought that was like such a nice little sign. You know, 413, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I just felt like that was the sign I needed today to get through it and know that I'm going to make it no matter how overwhelmed I feel. So with that said, I will see y'all when I see y'all. It is my birthday. Woo! Kill the confetti. Happy birthday to me. Even though it does not feel like it at all. I got my cute little flight attendant bun in today. I'm like, okay, I'm feeling this. But... I just want to get on here and wish myself a happy birthday if nobody else does today. <laughs> or if it doesn't feel like my birthday, it's okay because, you know, next year you can take yourself to Thailand and spend your birthday riding an elephant and in an exotic pool or beach. So, yeah. Wish me luck on day two. I know it's going to be long, so I'm actually going to run to Starbucks today. I got to get me some, some coffee. I'm going to just go on and get on it because I already know I'm not going to get through this without coffee. So I just wanted to wish myself a happy birthday. And yeah, day two, let's get it. Happy birthday, dear Taylor. I have not been on here since my birthday. Um, yeah, cause it's just been a lot going on. This is, I am in week two. This is Wednesday. Um, I've taken my first assessment. I got a 90 on it and I was just kind of like, only reason I got a 90 is cause I went back and changed. One of them I just didn't get right. But the other two I had right and I went back and changed them because I just second guessed what I put. So don't do that. <laughs> but um training has been going there have been a few discrepancies here and there not really i'm kidding it's just been a stressful thing and i don't like to even talk like that because it's only week two i can only imagine <laughs> what week three is going to be they said week three is going to be like the hardest like most mentally taxing week so but i'm gonna get through it you know we, we done made it this far we made it too far i'm sorry i'm just looking at my little bun i had to pull these things back but anyways we've made it too far to you know stop here or get stopped here um let's just have a quick chat i 
I don't know y'all I'm trying to figure out what do I want to say we did uniform day that was the first week though and I love that experience so much uh I'm gonna post the pictures in this video because obviously I'm not posting this until after I get my wings but the pictures were so cute and it was such a great experience like it was so good and I loved it I felt like a flight attendant when I put that uniform on and I had that little scarf on baby and it was just everything I really loved that experience um learning about just all the information we've been learning it's been it's been a lot it's like yesterday I really was just like oh child I don't know and this like I said I'm this is week two so I can only imagine what my updates are going to be as the weeks progress but I was just like oh this is so much and let me close this okay um but yeah it was just a lot like yesterday I, I'm not gonna say what we was learning because I don't want to get called in nobody office that's gonna be my thing I say I'm never gonna just try to disclose too much and if we start cutting around and I'm ever talking about flight attendant business just know I feel like I said something that was too much and I'm not trying to get called in nobody office to talk about nothing on YouTube but yesterday was just a lot like because we're learning we're just learning about I'm not gonna say what we're learning about but it was just it was just a lot like to learn and then it's kind of like you got to memorize this stuff you got to know it like this isn't a training where you can just go through the motions and then when you get out there you're gonna learn as you go because like that's just not how flight attendants work that's not how the job's gonna work you don't get to just figure it out when you get there. You really need to know what you're talking about and what you're doing before you even get on the airplane. But I mean, you're still gonna have questions, but like, you know. Um, My tattoo cover up has been going great. It is on this side. Oh, I probably just showed it in my shirt, but you know, you still can't see it. Like it's been working pretty well. I was um honest about it when I did. We did like a thing where they just evaluate your appearance and i was honest with the guy about it i was like i do have tattoos and i do have one on my neck <laughs> because honestly if you look at if you're sizing me up you're gonna see i have makeup on my neck because my neck just looks too perfect because compared to this side just looks regular so i know and then he was close up on me so i know he could see it, it didn't make no sense for me to lie and then now i'm going against their core value so i told him the truth but you know at the end of the day it is covered up and this is a good brand it get on my collar like a little bit on the inside but like outside you don't even see it and when i did the uniforms i had the scarf on the scarf covered my whole tattoo i'm gonna still put makeup on under it because it's not about covering it up it can't be visible so i'm gonna do everything i need to do to maintain but i was honest about it and they didn't send me home i just obviously had to keep it covered i'm trying to think what else the first test was really i feel like the first test was good it was really like pretty like I knew the content like I said I just changed those two answers so mad about that but it is what it is like I still have a 98 average and um I feel like what we learned this week yesterday I was overwhelmed I had to come home and just not reteach myself but just go over everything again that we learned in class but write stuff in my own wording and like really put it in a way that I could understand the information and I feel like that really helped me a lot with what we learning and then we learned like the rest of what we learned today and that wasn't too hard because I know I'm about to do the same thing uh, I got some homework to do but after I do my homework I'm gonna just like write out what we learning and just keep trying to understand things the way I do I've been studying because you know you just can't do this and just think you're gonna go home and go to sleep you're not gonna be able to do that you gotta study and go over everything you went over in class you gotta keep making sure you know everything i'm sleep deprived let's just say that like all of these late nights and early mornings it's starting to catch up with me like this morning <laughs> i woke up i swear you could i you couldn't tell me i didn't hear my alarm go. i swear i heard my alarm go off so i done jumped up out of my bed uh i went to use the bathroom and then I was like, let me get my phone before I start getting ready. I do my tattoo cover first because I just wanted to seep in, even though it don't even take that long. Like this sticky stuff I use, I'm really going to make a video after I get my wings, of course. Maybe I'm, I'm going to make a video for sure and show y'all how I put this on and how it works. It's really great. I really would recommend this to anybody because it don't get on your clothes. This lasts all day. It lasts up to three days, actually, but I'm obviously not going to go three days without washing my neck. I have sensitive skin and that's just nasty but I do that first and then I get ready so I was about to like you know put like just I keep my phone by me so I could see 
what I'm looking like on time every morning. And I picked up my phone and the phone said 414. Mind you, I get up at 530. And that's just cause, you know, I need extra, extra time for any discrepancies. Atlanta traffic is crazy. I just need time to make sure I'm gonna be able to get up and get ready, look presentable, and then stop and get my Starbucks and my egg white bites. That's just an essential part of my morning. <laughs> my Starbucks with my espresso shot cause I'm not staying up without no espresso. I get it why Flatitinus love coffee now because you really need it to stay awake at this job. So. Yeah, I just get up extra early because I get up at 530 because I don't, you know, I don't need nothing happening. But I get up, look at my clock, it said 414. I was like, I swear I just heard this alarm go off. <laughs> like, it's no way I didn't hear this alarm go off. I was like, am I tripping? I did. I just couldn't believe that the alarm didn't even go off. Because I'm like, well, how am I up? Like, what did I just hear? I'm tripping. I'm, I'm tweaking out. Like, but I couldn't even go back to sleep after that. I really was trying to figure out, did the time go bad? Like, what's going on? Because I'm not trying to be late. Then I started thinking, like, what if something is wrong? But um, it was only 4.14, so I stayed back in the bed for another hour. I didn't even go back to sleep, though, because I was just honestly like, I can't sleep now because I don't want to miss it. I just, you know, I don't want to make no mistakes. So I just didn't even go back to sleep. But the sleep, I'm sleep deprived. Like, all of this, I don't go to bed until at least, like, 10.30. And... Yeah, I'm staying up. I get home. We we kind of get home a little early now. The first week, we I wasn't getting home till eight o'clock every night. Now, mind you, I'm up at five thirty. I don't have to be there until eight. So we was going like it was long days the first week. The, the second week, we kind of chopping it like it's kind of like some shorter days. We be getting out at about five o'clock every day. So I'm not mad. I'm not mad about that. I get home about six every day because you know traffic in Atlanta. I'm gonna sit in traffic for an hour. I already know, but. Them days was long and them little, those, I'm getting seven hours of sleep. It's just, it's like, I'm, it's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough anymore for me. I, I need more. So I'm just like, oh, I'm sleepy and I'm tired. But it's like, also I get up every morning and I'm just grateful. Cause I'm like, dang, I'm really here. This is what I've wanted for so long. And I'm just happy to be here. I would just say, stay true to yourself throughout training. Don't try to be somebody that you're not and just be yourself and stay focused. Like stay focused like for real for real because i find myself getting off topic and worrying about things that just are not important and it's just like if anybody's watching this and you're about to start your training remember your why absolutely remember your why if you're doing this for travel remember that i really do hate that i didn't stay at the hotel because like all of my classmates are at the hotel so they like help each other out and study after class and i'm i'm sitting in an hour traffic trying to get home and study here and it's like it has pros and cons because I know like I just didn't want no roommate you know I don't want to do that I, I can't uh -uh. I just didn't want to I, I, I love my apartment I'm already about to leave it and go to New York so I love this little place this is my safe space I just wanted to enjoy it and you know I get in all my time with people in training but I do kind of wish I would have stayed at the hotel because it's like you know you do get to be with your classmates and y'all like all practice together and help each other but it's okay. I see them enough. I see them for 10 hours a day, six days a week, and I love them. Parts to you, all three. And I do want to say, yeah, this is a hard thing to get through, but it's not impossible. I feel like I've learned so much about aviation in the last two weeks that I just never even knew I could learn so quickly and just completely understand. But it's a pretty cool profession. I really love it. But I also do like sometimes just tell myself, I just want to go one full day without hearing the word airplane or aircraft or service or just aft. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear any of this stuff. I just want to lay down and not talk to nobody for 24 hours. <laughs> My social media be like dropping, but then I have to remember Taylor, this has just begun. You're just getting it started. So get used to it. Get used to being around different people and learning how to interact with them and work through your social anxiety and just put yourself out there and be you. And if somebody don't like you, oh well, you know? Especially in this type of business. What I love about being a flight attendant because it's like, you know, at the end of the day, even in training, I think about like, I don't really dislike nobody, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, if I did or if that was an issue, in six weeks, you're probably never gonna see nobody again, for real. Especially people that's going to different bases. And even if you're in flight and you're out there on the line and you disagree, you you don't like someone, after the trip's over, you never see them again. You put them on your don't 
flawless or whatever and you move on with your life. I love that about this job. So this is the beginning of week three. I like to do this 03 because I'm in 03 plus 03. But anyways, um, uh, last week I got 93 on my second test. So that, um, that really just kind of like gave me confidence that like, wow, I can really do this. Like it was, you know, before you come to training, you have so many nerves. Like, am I going to be able to pass the test and the evaluations? And am I going to make it and be successful for me? Am I going to be able to keep this tattoo covered and be accepted by this company? And you know, I had a lot of worries and like, I just didn't want to make any mistakes. Obviously, I don't want to go back to my old life. Nothing was wrong with it. Nothing wrong with working at Houston's. It got me this, but I, it's not what I want to do. Like, you know, I want to travel the world. I want to see this beautiful world. And this company is a great opportunity to take me there. And I want to document it and YouTube it. And like, this is what I want to do with my life. So getting 93 on that second test. And it was kind of, that was a... I mean, I don't want nobody to pick on me and say, girl, you was, week two was hard for you. It wasn't hard, but it was like, you know, obviously the first day of learning new, new stuff, it's just like, I don't get it. But I got it towards the end. I had to come home and just reteach myself um, the information I learned in class to get it. You know, just putting in extra work, obviously. But it gave me confidence. Like, I can do this. I can... I can get through this training successfully. We already halfway done. I feel like this week is like emergency week and you know, it's evals. It's a lot going on week three. So, you know, I'm like, once I get through this week, it's two weeks left. I'm not counting week six. Week six is just finals and then paperwork week to me. So it's like, you know, you get your three weeks from your dreams and what you've been wanting for like the last year. And I'm just like, passing these tests, doing good, getting these like A's and 90s and above. It's just like, just letting me know I can't do this. Cause you know, people try to scare you thinking, oh, this, this training is so hard. No, it ain't. It's not that hard if you apply yourself and you're genuinely interested in what you're signing up for. So I'm just proud of myself. And obviously I don't have the extra layer of the roommate situation and being away from home stress because I'm from Atlanta and I'm staying in my apartment. So my experience will be different from other people's experience, but I just, I'm really proud of myself. And you know, today we did commands and I'm just proud of myself for like, uh, obviously I didn't do it perfectly, but like I did pretty good just to be learning it today. So it just gave me confidence. Like I know I can do this. I'm, I'm right here at the end and um, I'm not gonna go all into detail about it, but like last week was really a wake up call for me because we lost some of our classmates and it was just like, dang. It was like a big dang moment for me. Cause we, you know, we lost them, but then we had to keep moving. It was just like a nothing is guaranteed type of thing for me. Cause you know, I'm, I'm quick to always say to my classmates, we right here at the end, we right here at the end. And it's like, you right here at the end, but nothing is guaranteed until you walk across that stage and they hand you them wings that say your name on it. Then you can, you know, celebrate and cheer and, and do whatever you want to do. But like, it just made me realize nothing is guaranteed. And I also just feel like, it just made me think like, I don't know how I'm gonna say this. It just made me just feel like, you know, I know how bad I want this. And I don't know what I would do if, for whatever reasons, I couldn't finish this thing and get to, you know, the places I wanna see and do the things I wanna do with this company. Like I would be devastated and it made me grateful for like the opportunity I have and still being here and pushing myself and doing everything I need to do to just maintain everything. It made me grateful, but it also just hurt my feelings. Cause I just, like I said, I feel like, I know how bad I want this. I know how bad everybody in my class wants this. So, but it was just like a check-in and realize nothing is handed to you. Nothing is guaranteed and stay on it. And, and pay attention and focus and do what you need to do to get your wings and, and get out here and see this world and meet new people and do everything you've been saying you want to do. Like check in, stay checked in because it's not, you're not almost done, you know? 
but um other than that i'm really just you know i'm chilling i be chilling i feel like i'm kind of starting to get close to my class and like they're really cool and stuff so i just do me you know i'm very myself <laughs> i don't know anybody else to be but I, I just feel like i'm doing really well and i just want to keep that confidence and momentum up about to go ahead and just take my shower and um practice these commands and study do some note cards because i make my note cards as i go so that way at the end of the week i just study them and then we do what we gotta do we got more tests coming up this friday it's gonna be evaluations and tests so i am just need to check in for that i'll probably come back and give y'all an update after that but um yeah ditch day is this week so i get to put that scuba suit on and um I'm just doing my thing. I'm really, I'm really doing my thing. I'm staying checked in. I'm staying locked in. I'm just grateful. Thank you so much, God, for everything that you do for me and, and all that is to come. I just can't wait to see it and film it and, and experience it and live it and love it and breathe it. And that's all I got to say for now. Good morning. I am really bad at this blogging while training. Cause sometimes y'all like, you gotta focus. Um, I didn't do my week three update. So I was like, I got like five minutes before I need to be leaving. So I just wanted to come on here and say, I finally got my 100, cue the confetti. <laughs> I finally got my 100 on the test. If my neck is stiff y'all, it's cause I just put my little makeup on my neck. So obviously I'm trying to like, you know, I don't really like to start moving my neck around until I'm there. So that's why it's like, okay, if it's on it, it's there. It's th I'm there, I'm there. But like, on my way there, I try to just like keep my shirt as clean and cut as possible. I think this is the cute side. I don't know. But y'all, the bun is giving. The bun gives every day. Somebody tells me like, the bun is giving. Okay, anyways, that not have nothing to do with nothing. But I, yes, I got my first 100 on our week three test. I'm just so happy about that because I've been wanting that 100 since week one and I was like you know I wasn't expecting it this week I just wasn't because this was like this was like emergency week and this was all the extra stuff so I was like I wasn't even expecting it but I'm just grateful God thank you every day for how far I've come we did I passed all my evaluations and everything else in between under the sun we got through a week three we are in day three of week four now we're learning like aircrafts specifics so that's where we are um yeah this week's almost over like the days are long but the weeks are super short and i don't know if that's because i'm staying here but like this training has gone it's flown by like i can't believe i'm about to be done with week four like today is wednesday I have my first training flight on Saturday. So really after today, I only got two days left. No test this week. Thank goodness. I'm so glad I don't have to worry about no test this week. Yeah, I just can't believe it's almost over. Like honestly in two days, you know, this week's over. Of course I'm gonna do my training flight. But after that, like this week's over, then we'll be in week five. You know, week six is, isn't even like a full week of learning. Week six is really like finals, final everything. And then I'm done. I'll be headed to New York. I really think about that sometimes. Like, I really just hope this all works out. What time is it? 6.39, I think. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, I just like, I hope this all works out. And I hope it's all worth it. So many people always tell me I'm gonna love this job. And um, I just hope I really do love it. I know I will, I think I will. But you know, like training is like not the real thing. So like what I've been getting is just like, it's not what my life is gonna be. But sometimes I do be sitting in training, I'm just like, what did I even sign up for? Like, did I sign up to go back to school or did I sign up to travel the world? Because it just gives school vibes. And it's it's such long days. Like I, I get, I'm getting 10 hour days, like averaging 10 hour days. Sometimes we go higher than that. And it's just like, it can get very exhausting and draining, but you just have to remember your why. Um, Whoever was in N3 of 2023, um, they left me a note that just says, take each day as it comes, reach for the skies and never forget your why. So I just always, you know, think about this. 
when I'm just sitting in class like, oh my God, I just wanna go home. But that's my little update. You know, I'm getting down to the wire and I'm just still so like in disbelief that I'm actually doing it. I'm making it happen. You know, I done, I done beat the odds. I done, you know, I done did it all. And I'm just happy. I'm very happy uh stressed but happy but also like i know i got I, i'm not gonna say i got this in the bag that's too much but i can do this i know i can do this so um with that said i need to head to starbucks and um get to training day three of week four we're almost there we got our uniforms this week i'm so happy um yeah i gotta go now i just wanted to come on here i was like i every time i, I say i'm gonna come on here when i get home and then i get home and i'm like okay i got homework to do i done snatched my wig off and now i'm not getting on no camera so i'm like okay you should just start doing these in the morning on your way out the door because this is when you look like you know obviously i don't really look the best best because i don't have no makeup on i just have on eyebrows and lashes and honestly like i'm looking at it and they don't look the eyebrows don't look the same I really have OCD when it comes to my eyebrows. Like I'm like, if they don't look the same, I'm not leaving the house and they don't look the same, but I, sometimes I don't have time. So I have to go with like the best, next best thing. But wig is just really eating. You know, I can't believe it's week four and this is how my hair still looks. Lace Bavante, period. I'm definitely getting another wig because this is long and I hate to have to put this in a bun every day. Like this wig was meant to be worn down. So I'll probably just get like another one that's like short and then that'll be my work wig that I just throw on. But until the end of week four, maybe I'll try to vlog a little. I probably won't be able to vlog my training flight, but I'll try to get some stuff.